Hi, my name is Mr. Poser and I'm the science teacher in Hobson, Montana. I really need a new garden shed. It's small, beat up, and I can't fit my lawnmower in it. Mr. Bueller at Loosetown Junior High was kind enough to share his students' projects. They've been modeling garden sheds in Tinkercad and 3D printing them. He asked if I'd look through them and pick out my top three. I thought I'd make a short video, show all of them, and then talk about what I liked and what I think could be improved. I took my top three and I put it in this very top secret folder I had laying around. And I'll go through the others quickly. We'll start with this one, an all wood shed. I think this has got a great classic shed look. I love the big doors on it and the windows. Um, the modeling has some issues. I think they could have fit together better and been lined up. And then they could be grouped together so it looks smoother. It kind of looks like all the snow gets dumped in front of the door. Um, and the budget. For $3,500, I'm not quite sure what I'm getting. I really like the ones where I saw an itemized budget breakdown. I think work on making interesting details and just smooth out the modeling some. This one says it's made in the USA and is all oak. Oak's a great building material, but is it really all oak? The roof, the door, all of it? I think there's some other great building material options that could be used. Something local maybe, like Douglas fir. Uh, it's a pretty standard shed, and to me it looks tall. It says the door is 7 feet. If the door is 7 feet, it looks like the overall building's two door heights. That's 14 feet, and that's a pretty tall shed. I'm not sure what I'd put up in the loft area. I think work on additional features for the shed. Maybe put in siding and additional windows. This shed, the French Fry House. $15,219. It's very tall and has a tall door just in case of tall people. I'm not really a tall person, but I appreciate that I can get through it. It's a great idea. The windows and details need some work. The knob on the door looks a little skewed. It's a great idea, but I think the windows and the doorknob can need some work in the modeling. I'd like to see the box more substantial and maybe some fries that are bent over a little bit. I didn't see a budget, and I don't know exactly what materials are needed. I think what you need to work on most is getting that budget in place. This one, tool shed, only $4,000. I think that's a very reasonable price for a small garden shed. I love the oval shape. It's unique, the curves add visual interest, but it's difficult to build. I think it's got really good storage in it. I like the wide door, but at five feet tall, that's a short door. I'd have to crouch down to get stuff in there. I think work on realistic windows and color, add materials and an itemized budget. This shed is nuts. It looks like it's made out of pillows, maybe some kind of weird giant sandal. Um, it's a really interesting shape. I'm not sure how I'd build it, and it definitely looks like there's some gaps in the roof, probably leaks in the winter. The modeling intersections are pretty rough. I think they need smoothed out and lined up better. I need to see more of an itemized budget. At $3,600, this seems like a pretty cheap shed for as complicated a build as it is. I think you'd work on making a solid shape inside your structure there so that water doesn't get in there. Maybe build some kind of frame under the pillow strap things. This shed, very clearly listed, great qualities on it. I dig the Teen Titan aesthetic. It's got a fireplace inside and nice neighbors. That's appreciated, but is that really something you can build into a shed? I see an attempt to add detail. There's bricks in the chimney, but they're not quite lined up and it's not finished. Work on an itemized budget and work on the presentation. Remember, when you're trying to sell something, it's all about communicating to your buyer. Make sure it's clear and readable. This is a very cute shed. I like the roof draining rain and snow away. The carport area is great for extra storage, protects my lawnmower in the winter. I like the oval door at the top. That's very cute. It's a classic design I think a lot of people will like. The communication's a little rough. Work on the write-up some. It's a reasonable price, but I'd like to see an itemized list. Work on creating groups of structures and Tinkercads to create smoother textures and more realistic looking windows. This shed, the Pringle shed, kind of a giant bowl shape with a Pringles can on top. It's a cool design, it's very detailed, it's big and feature rich, kind of like a small house. I can imagine Yoda living in it. The moat doesn't seem very useful without a drawbridge. People could just walk right across that. If it's a Pringle shed, I'd like to see it overall look like a Pringle shape, not just have a Pringle can on top. I'd work on an itemized budget, 
this seems like a pretty low price, $7,500 for everything that's included. The shed for sale, $6,700. Right side view, back side view, left side view. It's made out of wood, four shelves in and left, one big shelf in the top right side. It's a classic, interesting shed shape, but it seems a bit tall. It says the shelf is seven feet tall. I could barely reach to put stuff up on there. I like that it's a greenhouse shed with light coming in the roof for plants. The door opens, but I'm not quite sure how. Work on color and making the details realistic. This shed. Only time will tell. It's kind of a giant clock, and on the back there's some kind of strange Illuminati symbol. I think that's supposed to be a window. It's very unique. I hope the clock works. It'd make it really easy to tell time outside. The round door might not be very practical. It'd be difficult to push my lawnmower in it. The budget seems high at $12,000. I'm not exactly sure what I'm getting for that price. Work on adding size and dimension to your structure. It looks like it's maybe a really big shed. This shed, $2,400, big bright colors. I looked at it and immediately thought it looked like an observatory. That's good because as I read in the brochure, I see it could open up a window and use a telescope. I question the use of bunk beds in a shed. My lawnmower and snowblower like to sleep next to each other. It seems pretty expensive at $24,000. It's got good views from the windows though. I think I'd work on using more realistic colors this Martian shed is great. It reminds me of an IC chip used in computing. It also reminds me of a Queenslander style house. That's a house built in Queensland, Australia, where they put it up on poles so that air could circulate underneath the house and up through the loose wood floorboards. That cooled the house in the hot summers. The overall structure's got little details, but they're hard to make out. I'd like to see bigger structures that are more clear what they're supposed to be. It's made to go into space, and it's clear they thought about what a shed really needs to be comfortable and usable. They have some life experience with sheds, I think. Work on a budget and adding more description to your shed. I love the look of the shed. It's great proportions, classic shape, lots of good storage, and I like the color scheme. I think you could work on modeling, make the windows look more like windows, group the trim. The long window seems a little bit impractical to install. I'd like to see maybe a series of smaller windows. Work on creating an itemized budget and stating what features this shed has. The price is a bit on the high side at $10,000. I'd like to know what I'm getting for that price. The luxury shed in dark gray costs $24,000, more than my car. It's got a big garage door for things to go in and out. It's got lots of interesting roof details. Not sure about all the shapes. They don't seem to line up in the model. I think they need to be bumped around a little bit and grouped. It's got some really good features for a shed, but it's really expensive. Work on getting that cost down and describing what features I'm getting for the price. Tool shed, this is a classic. You might tell I can like tools and I like the overall advertisement look to this. It's a classic shape and style. It's easy to build, but it says the benefits are that you can put stuff in it. All of these sheds can have stuff put in it. What specific unique structures does your shed have? Good windows and placement. I'd like to see an itemized budget. Work on grouping items and adding details. The shed tree, very cool idea. Reminds me a little bit of the Whomping Willow from Harry Potter. I wonder how I'm gonna build that though. It looks really complicated. I like the idea of it being natural and wind powered. I kind of worry that the tree looks dead. I think maybe I'd like more of a live looking tree. The models are kind of chunky and just floating there. Work on making groups with them. It's got a lot of interesting features, but not all of them are helpful. Budget seems high at $12,000. Wonder what I'm paying for. Work on the color, proportion, and grouping things in Tinkercad. The America Shed, price $14,630. Itemized budget, really like that. Firework cannon on the side, great idea. Cost seems high. I think maybe that the insulation and electricity could be cut. It's a storage shed. I really don't need to keep things warm in it. But the firework cannon stay. It's mostly America's shed because of the paint job. But pretty much any shed could be painted red, white, and blue and have the American flag on it. I think if you really want to make this America flag, it needs to be shaped like a bald eagle or Ronald Reagan riding a Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
There's some issues with the model, I think. It's very narrow and the wheels don't look round. I can't tell if that's your image or your actual Tinkercad project, but I'd like to know if I can hook this up to a trailer and if it will actually roll. Work on those wheels or your images of those wheels. Finally, the top three. Number three. Super impressed by the modeling here. This looks professional. It's just such a smooth shape and neat colors on it. I love that cross section. It looks like a piece of toast. The budget number, not quite sure on, $6,500. Again, I'd like to see a breakdown of that. Love the trailer hitch, but at the end of the day, it is just kind of a cargo trailer. It needs more features that make it a garden shed. Maybe a window, maybe a potting bench, toolbox, or a shelf inside. Work on adding other interesting items and making a detailed budget. Number two, the NASA shed. I love NASA and I think this is a great shed. This is the second space themed one and I think they both look great. It's a little short on features and a little bit blonky. The door seems to be sitting out in front and there's a weird line running down the window in the back. I love the itemized budget, but it does seem a bit low at $1,500. I think it could have a few more things like fasteners added to it and some more realistic prices. Work on considering what the overall architecture would be on the inside to hold up this curved shape. That leaves number one, the shed brochure. It's a good sized shed. I love the use of architectural vocab to describe it. Portico, that's awesome. It's got a really cool half curved window above the door. The brick is durable and retains heat but it's also expensive and retains coal. The budget's high at $18,000, but that may be reasonable for building something out of solid brick. It's a very permanent structure. It's got good details. I'd work on the overall proportions. Those columns seem pretty massive and the roof might not have the right pitch. It's got a good look to the project, but I think it needs a better title. Good details, good features. Thank you, Loosetown Junior High. Those were awesome projects. Some of the best garden sheds I've ever seen modeled in Tinkercad.